to you. Thank you. All right. And if you'll be so kind, I can take it to the table. Perfect. Thank you. I'll take the chair. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. One old River King salmon, Liberty Farm stuck breast, A5 Wagyu beef coming from way to Japan. Okay. If you flip the little fish over on the card, you're going to find some additional items there. That uh, selections of oysters and caviar, uni egg, salt roasted prawns, and Italian white truffles. Uh, white truffles can be shaved over a pasta, risotto, or egg. One portion of truffle is shareable between two people. Okay. okay. Um, and that's that. Um, you're thinking about some wine? Uh, yes. Can I get the FXP clear? Sure. Did you happen to see the number that was there beside it? Yes, I did. Please. Yep, yeah, 230. No, I meant the... Oh, the year. Not that year. No, no, not the year. The the, um, the sort of the little code number that's over here. Oh, I'm sorry. That's uh, okay. No, that's fine. You thought I meant the price. <laughs> Do you want to see how much that was, sir? No. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just wanted that number. Uh, imported wine. Sorry. No, take with a me. moment. You know what? I'm going to bring the truffle box and I'll be right back. All right. Fire. You can smell it from here. <laughs> you should smell it right under your nose. Don't check yourself. Oh. The number there, sir? I'm sorry? Sorry, I didn't realize you had uh, more peeklers here. Uh, no, yeah, just to be sure. Do you want to talk to Assam or you, you're comfortable? Uh, I'm, I'm comfortable. You could if you like. I'm comfortable. Yeah. Uh, Let's go with this one, 1815. 1850. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm going to leave this. flour cup, tartar of yellowtail, pickled Asian pear, pickled ginger, foam of Asian pear, a little sancho leaf powder over the top. Okay. Mm. Here, uh, everything cracker, lemon creme fresh, house cured salmon coming from the quenelle, little dots of horseradish and dill fluid gel over the top. And then on the block in front of you, tartar of wagyu beef, oyster oh. aioli, uh, charred lime aioli, little sliver of oyster. Oh, so sexy. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. This is another bite for us here, if I may. Thank you, sir. And so we have an orange cracker. Sorry, you're like mid-bite. It's okay, <laughs> oh, it's okay, over, but over. I just want to know. Uh, on the bottom, Yuzu Ege Joshi, coins of pickled hikama, coins of pickled kombu with uni from Hokkaido, Japan. Oh. Another finger food. Please enjoy. Thank you. Of course. You're spoiling this. Hokkaido uni. macadamia nut milk that we make in-house. We get all of our macadamia nuts from a family-owned farm in Hawaii. Underneath the uh, nice layer of aerated foam, you have the toasted macadamia nuts, roasted shallots, and then little tapioca pearls that have been soaking in dashi. <laughs> nice healthy pocket of golden blue to caviar right at the bottom, and a dusting of moringue to top it all off. The way that Chef recommends enjoying this is by getting a bite of every element in the bowl in each bite. So what I like to say is don't be afraid to go for the middle. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you so much. It's okay. 
last time, you know, I went out the same kind of way she would keep on going. Out of us, our lovely sashimi course. Wild Japanese Thai snapper that we dry age, setting on Finley Farms organic heirloom tomatoes. Before service, we break up those tomatoes and set them on kombu, activating some of the mommy in the tomatoes, imparting some of that flavor. There's also some uh, tomato jelly on top, naturally set with some of the collagen from the fish itself, with shiso blossoms and some scallion. Finishing with this lovely olive oil, uh, made by a couple of Miguel and Madre out of Portugal, characteristically uniquely made of ripened black olives instead of young green olives. Mm. Quite delicious. Thank you. Lovely dish of Norwegian king crab. On the bottom there are some sweet corn puree, sweet corn kernels, and fermented radish. We finish the dish with some crab oil and some pop sorghum. Looks like miniature popcorn. Please enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. So, sorghum is so freaking cute. I love the tiny <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Oh, let me turn this for you. Yeah, get that. Wow, what a team player. <laughs> <laughs> so the bread itself made of red fife, a variety of wheat, dry farm 100 miles north of here in Tatchby. Collaboration with the Tatchby Grain Project, which you can read about on my card there. The butter itself lightly salted, made in Normandy, France by a gentleman named Rodolphe Lemignier. Master cheesemaker, but he makes fantastic butter. A little bit of flaky mold sea salt. Perfect. Thank you. I don't think salt makes me so happy. I know. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> Scallop. Thank you, Doug. Uh, pan seared scallops here coming from Kaido. Uh, seared off in brown butter. Uh, mm. Finished with the black truffle glaze. Below, you have a dice of celery root, leaf root, pancetta, and chantrel mushroom. Frothy scallops here. Mm. Mm. Thank you. So lovely course here. Uh, Vermilion rockfish, caught by good buddy the chef actually, Captain Eric Hodge, right off the coast of Santa Barbara. Nice. The fish itself is charcoal grilled and glazed with a mussel tare. Beside German butterball potatoes, generally cooked in saffron, even that lovely golden color. Mussels from British Columbia, bronze from the home garden. Finishing with this lovely saffron sauce.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. full circle, you know, like how it feels good now. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, King Sam coming from the Quinault, topped with little batons of potato, black truffle, chive, and pickled graham. A puree of turnip on the left. And we're gonna finish all this off. Sorry. So sorry, sir. It's okay. I have an incredible talent for finding people's feet under the table. <laughs> I'm sorry? I said he's wearing military boots anyway, so we're going to tell anyone's feet stuck on his. Well, you know, military boots are flip flops. I don't want to be standing on anybody's feet. It's unbelievable. Always fun. Thank you. <coughs> Alright guys, on the uh, left, um, braised quince, quince puree, and quince syrup. Okay, you have your duck breast there in the center. Um, below you'll find a little spigarello and spring onion. On the right, a duck croquette made from the cold beef leg and five. Wait, sorry, what was that last part? A little croquette made from the comfy leg and pie. Oh, okay. Okay, enjoy. Thank, Thank you. You're so very welcome. So they cooked that duck leg in yeah. duck fat. Yeah. I, 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 could, I legit did not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I was like, wait, I need to say that again, so I know. <laughs> it should be super creamy and very tender. Yeah, I'm excited. And the duck breast is the perfect. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Um, Japanese Wagyu beef coming from the Wita prefecture. On the left, puree of pumpkin with habanada pepper. On the right, you have a little grilled matsutake sitting atop a relish of habanada and matsutake. Um, the beef broth finishing off the dish with some um, uh, a pea stew of lemon balm, lemon zest, and parsley. Thank you. Very well. Actually, no I, I thought I had fired it, and I went in the back and I'm like, where's my pair? And they were like, we don't take it. Idiot. Anyway, um, but I'm glad it worked out. Thank you. It made me feel better. Um, sorbet of vanilla and citrus. Okay, beside it, you have a little poached pear. The pear has been poached in Prosecco and citrus. Okay? We've then taken those poaching liquids and made it into the granita that is below. Finished with a little sprinkle of vanilla powder and lemon and lime zest. Okay? 
Thank you. You're very welcome. Does anyone feel like coffee or tea or anything else? Like yeah, I'm going to need an espresso, please. Espresso? Single? Can have coffee? Sure. Regular coffee? Yes, please. Regular coffee? I'll do espresso. Espresso? Singles, right, you guys? Yes, okay. please. Thank you. Well, the espresso will be up till like 3 in the morning. <laughs> Okay, start with the pear. Okay, the pear falls apart. Yeah, I was Thank like, you. we're gonna have to get up close and personal. I'm gonna take a mic first and then take a picture. Okay. Cashew parmesan filled with a cashew praline cremeau, candied cashews, Ecuadorian dark chocolate gelato, a little smooth ambler whiskey mousse, and then pan the cacao. Enjoy. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome, sir. I want a crunch. I love the word crunch so much. Every pastry chef I've had is like, say I'm making a cremeau, I just laugh at them. Like, are you laughing at? I don't know, I just like the word. <laughs> I'm so excited to have this one coffee. Fire. Only a little coffee because it is still very, very, very hot. Yes, yes, of course. I was like, there's like a crust. I want to get the whole everything together. Oh, you're a chocolate, you're a bad little chocolate. Bad chocolate. Bad chocolate. Bad chocolate. Bad chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You're a good chocolate. Mm. Something different. Oh. <laughs> not quite, not quite. <laughs> it's not. It's too light colored. Uh, Is this why you asked the, uh, the fruit? This... <laughs> It's a little chocolate mint tea. Oh. Uh, we make all of our own chocolate here in house, so we process all of our own beans. When you're separating the bean, you're separating the husk from the nib. You use the nib to make the chocolate, and generally you discard the husks. In this case, we're keeping the husks and steeping them with mint, yeah. and you get this little chocolate tea. It smells like a cocoa, drinks like a tea. Um, here, a little pourer there, is a simple syrup that's made with those same cocoa husks, okay, so a little chocolate flavored syrup. So if you'd like to add a little sweetness, take some from there, give it a little pour, give it a stir, and enjoy. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. Of course. Did enjoy for sure. Good. Mind equal blown. Try it. Get a little tiny spoonful. Just how? And then I'm going to add the syrup. Same. Just how do I? How do I? Just oh. Spray it out. Oh, yeah. It's a petit foie. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Maybe you're nervous. <laughs> Um, macaroons are hazelnut coffee. Okay. Oh, nice. Batons, sesame praline. White chocolate, Providence honey. So a little bit of a liquid center there, okay? Providence honey meaning we have a beehive on top of the restaurant. <coughs> right on. Where we get our honey from. A caramel tart with a vanilla bourbon cream. Bit of wheat is pineapple anise. Okay? okay. Oh, and that's that. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you so much. 
I think I'm most excited for the white chocolate. Yeah. Or the max. Night so well, thank you for hanging out. Good for you. Yeah, everything was really good. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. You're welcome, man.